what is flow action online resources flow action is used to insert the section in the outside uh, connector of the assignment yes flow action where you are going to call the section role outside the connector of assignment you are going to call it in case of process flows there are other types of flows where we call on the assignment shape itself so where we call you leave it let's go ahead and understand what is a flow action technical definition so technically exactly what is a flow action this notes is already available in the documents given to you okay so just let me tell you what is a flow action first of all only definition i'll write down it is a process rule flow action is a process rule we are going to create this under process category which will be called in workflow in the assignment shape or assignment shape outward outward connector accordingly type of flow that you are using but so far we don't know what are different types of flows and all okay fine so it is a process rule which allows us which allows us to perform an action on the assignment an action on the assignment so if you don't have any flow action at all in an assignment can you perform an action on the assignment you will not be able to perform an action and it moves and it moves the case from current assignment to next level in the flow so and it is going to move the, uh, this one the case from current assignment to next level in the workflow suppose whenever you are going to execute a workflow assignment is created flow action is created you submit what happens will it be there on the same screen or it will move forward complete so upon successful validations and all done it is going to complete that assignment and move forward to next level of next level in the workflow whatever it need can be next can be assignment utility whatever it is so flow action is the process rule which allows us to perform an action on the assignment and moves the case from current assignment to the next level in the workflow by completing the current action current assignment now there are two types of flow actions available okay one is connector flow action connector flow action definition is by default whatever that i have given for flow action that is connector flow action okay that is the first one second one is local action so already did, did we work on connector flow action we have already yes. worked on connector flow action now we have to work on local actions okay local action means it is also a process rule which allows us to perform an action on the assignment but what happens is it is not going to move the case from current assignment to next level but the case will be still on same assignment even after the action is performed even after the action is performed case will be still there on the same assignment so example of local actions so example is let's say any pop up window pop up forms attaching documents etc something like this so whenever you are going to you want to attach a document to the work object in a screen suppose you click on a link so link is going to ask you what are the attachments you want to choose from your computer you choose some of the attachments from your computer and you are going to attach to the work object so once this attachment process is completed is it going to move to the next level generally it will be still there on the same screen it will show you these are the documents attached some links it will show this is a kind of local action okay so everyone clear this is the kind of local action so suppose you got a pop up form okay you enter the data in a form and submit you will be still there on the same screen in the background data will be submitted to background screen and some processing will be done but still case will be there on the same assignment it will not move so these kind of requirements if you want to implement you can go ahead and use local actions this is the work of local action there it is performing an action but case is not being moved from the current assignment to next level see connector flow action we have already worked on now we are going to work on local actions when you are working with local actions 
local actions where we can call local actions can be called from HTML controls HTML controls means it can be any control it can be a text on change on click something like this on click you can call a local action button on change of a text you can call local action like this options are provided look at here just for your information let me open and show you that suppose here you go i wanted to go ahead and on change of this control value in the text input see here actions add an action of more actions you can see here you have an option launch local action is there if you choose launch local action you should be able to call a local action how to create and all i'll tell you later okay so this local action will be coming as a you can choose prop pop up or replacing current window whatever the options we can choose so local action can be called from html controls like buttons text inputs etc okay or you can call it on assignment shape so let me go ahead and give this screenshot to you here you go if you go to process flow any flow you can open any flow double click on assignment shape scroll down here you see local actions you can call one or more local actions click the down arrow you can choose one or more local actions here okay this is one and you can click on add local action again already second one is there you can add like this in an assignment shape you can call local actions So next one is where we can call local actions is under design tab of flow under design tab of workflow if you go to any flow you open any flow and go to design tab here you can see display these actions first and here whatever flow wide local actions here you can call local actions okay so local actions that you call let me go ahead and write a star point local actions that we call on assignment shape are design tab of flow will be can be accessed using the action drop down of work object forms action drop down of work object forms look at here see what is the work object form i'll show you so here you go let me complete this see this is action drop down of work object form This is what you have here. So in this menu, menu, you will be getting the local action names, whichever you call. That will be opened as a window. Local action means it's a flow action. Flow action means internally it have section. It's not a flow action. It's like it's a flow action rule with different options of local action. I'll tell you how to create a local action. That will have a section means it's a UI. Okay. Local actions will be available in the action drop down menu. See, look at here. See, if you're going to call a local action on assignment shape, if you're going to call a local action on assignment shape, when you suppose, let's say, I have a call, I have called local action, action one on this assignment one. Assignment two, there is no local action. When I run the flow, when I'm going to run the flow, if you just go ahead with action drop down at first assignment, you will see local action, action one, which I have called okay some local action update customer details suppose i have called that you will see here so after i complete this assignment after we are going to complete this assignment after i have completed this assignment 
and second assignment case has moved to second assignment now if you go to action drop down you will not see that local action which you have called for assignment one so if you call a local action on one assignment shape that will be available only during that assignment when uh, only when the case is at that assignment if the case moved out of the that assignment to next level in the flow if you go to action drop down you will not see the local action that is assignment shape when you call suppose if you call the local action in the workflow under design tab here i have called the same local action let's say then it will be available in the same action drop down but it will be available throughout the flow throughout the flow whether the case is at assignment 1 assignment 2 assignment 3 assignment 4 anywhere in the workflow this local action means for first assignment if you go and see it will be available in the action drop down we will practically work on this okay second assignment when you go and see it will be available third assignment if you go and see it will be available suppose update customer details if i have called this on one assignment shape first assignment update agency details i have called it on design tab of the flow then update customer details will be available when the case is at assignment one case move to assignment two it will not be available further but your update agency details will because you have called it in design tab of the flow it will be available at assignment one assignment two assignment three anywhere when the case is you go to action drop down it will be available means multiple times you can do same action at every assignment in the workflow so this one i'm going to practically we are going to practically work on when we call an assign when we call a local action on assignment shape it will be available to access only when the case is at the specific assignment so when we call a local action under design tab of flow it will be accessible at all the assignments of that flow at all the assignments of that flow if you move out of the flow it will not be available if you go to next flow case go to next flow it will not be available so this is this is called flow wide local action the other one is assignment local action this is assignment level local action this the below one is so we are going to work on these local actions types of local actions practically now this is clear everyone this conference will now be recorded okay look at here so when you go to case type rule this is case designer okay so in a case type you have process one two three means these are multiple flows right these are all multiple different flows so if you open each of these flows you can call in the design tab that means that will be available only up to that flow if you move out of another flow it will not be available suppose if i am going to open the case type rule what is the rule name of the case type rule py default and here you go scroll down here you have case wide actions available here you can call local actions you can call local actions if you call a local action in in the case type rule then this will be available throughout the case type at all the steps okay this is case wide actions we can call local action call a local action in the case type role py default right py default so here you can call this local action will be available
at all the steps in the case type. At all the steps in the case type. This is clear, everyone. So this is what about local actions that we can call in a case type. Also, we can call this additional point. Okay, now write down the business requirement. 